This is problem two on exam one of module six in the book Problem Solving Guide for Electromagnetism and Optics. Problem two, consider the circuit from problem one, we'll have to remember that, with a battery hooked up across AB. If we take away the 20 ohm resistor, what happens to the current through the 60 ohm resistor? Increase, decrease, stay the same. Part B, if we take away the 30, what happens to the current through the 100? Part C, if we take away the 40, that one's right here, what happens to the current through the 30? Let's label the resistors we want to calculate the current through. There's the 60 right here. Here's the 100 after we take away the 30. And here's the 30 after we take away the 40. Let's focus on these one at a time, starting with part A. If we took away the 20, the missing resistor was right here. There it is, that's gone, there it is, that's gone. Okay, that one's gone. What happens to the current through the 60? What is the voltage drop across the 60? It's still 12 volts. It's gonna draw 200 milliamps from the battery. Removing this one has no effect on the current through the 60 ohm resistor. The answer is stay the same. That was kinda easy, too easy. Hope the next one's harder. Give my brain some exercise. So here's figure two. The missing resistor was here. That's the one we took away. If we take that one away, what happens to this current? The current through the 100 ohm resistor. The branch, this branch, the, the resistance is now increased because we took away an option for the current. The resistance of this branch is now 100 plus 40 plus 20, three in series, that's 160 ohms. With a 30 in place, if you remember, the resistance of this branch was only 120 ohms. Now it's 160 ohms. And it's also directly across the battery, so it's increased resistance with the same voltage. The 100 amp is gonna get, 100 ohm resistor is gonna get less current. The answer is decrease. Well, that was pretty good. Now let's go to number three. The missing resistor was right here. We took that one away. What's the current through the 30 ohm resistor? If we take away this resistor, the resistance through this branch is going to go down, which means the current through this branch is going to go up. But when it splits, more of it's gonna go here because this branch is now only 20 ohms. Before this branch was 60 ohms, most of the current went through the 30 ohm resistor. So the current through the 100 is gonna go up because the resistance of the branch went down, but most of it's gonna go through the 20. Hmm, I think they might have to calculate it. It's not obvious. So without the 40, we have a 30 in parallel with a 20. So we can calculate the equivalent resistance using the formula for resistors in parallel. And we get 60 ohms over five, one over our equivalent. So the equivalent resistance is 12 ohms, 60 divided by five. So now we have 12 ohms in series with the 100. That's 112 ohms. Lower resistance. This will draw a current of just 12 volts across that branch. 107 milliamps. So now the 107 comes in here and splits. Some of it goes through to 30, some of it goes through to 20, most of it goes through to 20. There's the 30 and the 40. The 30 gets only two fifths of it to balance the voltage drop across the two branches. The voltage drop across the 30 has to be the same as the voltage drop across the 20. That's 42.7. So we have 107 coming in here, 42.7 goes through to 30. With the 40 in place, the whole resistance was 120 ohms. And the 30 ohms got two thirds of that. With the 40 ohm resistor removed, the resistance of this branch is now decreased, so it gets more current. But when it splits, most of it goes through the 20 rather than the 30. Before the 40 was removed, we calculated in problem one, 
the 30 ohm resistor gets 66.7 milliamps, now it only gets 42.7. So the current through the 30 ohm resistor decreases. That was a good one. Hope problem three is equally fun.